I may now hand over the proceeding to Mr. Kailasam, sir, chairman of the meeting. You may now take over, sir. Thank you. Good morning, uh, all shareholders. Good morning, uh, my board members and colleagues. Um, I'm Kailasam, chairman of the board of uh, Deccan Gold Mines Limited. Today is Friday, December 23rd, 2022, and the time is 11.09 a.m. At the outset, I welcome all of you to this extraordinary general meeting of Deccan Gold Mines Limited. This meeting is being held through video conference in accordance with the circular issued by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and SEBI. Before we start the main proceedings of the meeting, I extend a warm welcome to my colleagues on the board and management, Hanuma Prasad, Managing Director, Subramaniam, Executive Director, and Karunagaran, CFO, joining the meeting from the corporate office at Bengaluru. And also welcome the other directors, Govin Shubhas Saman, Andrew Mark Wicks, and Deepti, who have also joined the meeting remotely. I confirm that the statutory auditors and the secretary auditors and Mr. Nitin Somani from Sunday Capital, our merchant bankers, are present for the meeting through video conferencing and welcome them to the meeting as well. I have been informed that the requisite quorum being present through the video conference to conduct the proceedings of this meeting. Participation of members through video conference is being reckoned for the purpose of quorum as per the circulars issued by MCA and Section 103 of the Companies Act 2013. I call this meeting to order. I now request Mr. Subramaniam, Company Secretary, to provide general instructions to the members regarding participation in the meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. Members may note that this EGM is being held through video conferencing in accordance with Companies Act 2013 and circulars issued by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and CB. Facility for joining this meeting through video conference or other audiovisual means has been made available for the members on a first come first served basis. The register of contracts or arrangements has been made available electronically for inspection by the members at the website of the company during the course of the EGM. As the EGM is being held through video conference, the facility for attending the meeting through proxies is not allowed, at least the proxy register for inspection is not available. The company has, has received a few requests from to members to register them as speakers at the meeting. Accordingly, the floor will be open for these members to ask questions or express their views. The moderator will facilitate the session once the floor is opened. It may be noted that the company reserves the right to limit the number of members asking questions depending on the availability of time at the EGM. The company has provided the facility to cast votes electronically on all resolutions set forth in the notice. Members who have not cast their votes set electronically and who are participating in this meeting will have an opportunity to cast their votes during the meeting through the e-voting process provided by link in time. Members are requested to refer to the instructions provided in the notice or appearing on the video conference page for seamless participation through video conference. In case members face any difficulty, they may reach out on the helpline numbers. Thank you very much. Over to the chair. Thank you, Subramaniam. As the notice is already circulated to all the members, with the consent of members, I take the notice convening the meeting as read. We now come to the formal proceedings of the meeting. The chairman to brief about the resolution proposed for seeking approval of members. I hope all shareholders would have gone through the contents of the uh, EGM notice. We now take up the resolutions as set forth in the notice. Remember that we are not taking hand vote here, so I will just read out the resolutions. Item number one, offer and issue of equity shares by the company on preferential basis through private placement for non-cash consideration. Item number two, offer and issue of compulsorily convertible debentures by the company on preferential basis through private placement for non-cash consideration. The text of the resolutions along with the explanatory statement has been provided in the notice circulated to the members. Now we shall open the floor for taking questions from shareholders. I now request the company secretary to provide some brief points to the shareholders in this regard. Over to Subramaniam. Thank you. Uh, so dear shareholders, Thank you for taking the time and joining the EGM today. Before we go live with the session, here are some points to note for your convenience. Kindly turn on your video when you are projected on the broadcast screen. Kindly unmute yourself and proceed to ask the question. Please mention your name and the location from where you are joining and your DPID or phone number. Once you have asked your question, you can log off and continue to watch the proceedings. 
Each shareholder will have two minutes for their questions and avoid repetition and enable smooth flow. The board will respond after all the questions have been taken. So now we can call out the list of speakers, uh, Mr. Ashish. Like the first speaker is Lekha Shah. Is she available? Yes, sir. Yeah. Lekha, ma'am. Yes, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah. We are able to hear you, madam. Tell, tell us. Thank you, sir. Respected chairman, sir, board of directors, yes. and my fellow members. Very good morning to all of you. Myself, Lekasha from Mumbai. First of all, may I thank company secretary Supramaniam ji ko aur dhanyavad dena chahti hum. Unhone mujhe time par EGM notice beja. Plus, sir, Supramaniam ji, apka taraf se kuch phone to mujhe aaya nahi. हम आज स्पीकर फेयर होल्डर हम लोग को आपको कॉल करना चाहिए थे सर एक बार मीटिंग होने के बाद में आपको हम मैं आपको मिलना चाहती हूँ सुब्रमण जी और और कॉल कर दीजिएगा आपसे बात करना भी चाहती हूँ और sure. सर आज कोई कुछ भी डिसीजन हमारा कंपनी चेयरमैन सर ने लिया है मुझे पूरा कंपनी के ऊपर विश्वास है कोई कुछ भी आप करेंगे और हमारा अच्छा के लिए करेगा वो मुझे बहुत कुछ विश्वास है सर सिंस लिंक इन टाइम अलवर्स टू लॉग इन विदाउट एनी प्रॉब्लम आई वुड लाइक थैंक देम फॉर देयर सर्विसेज स्पेशली निशान भाई इक्रम भाई इक्रम भाई सर सर विश यू वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एंड हैप्पी क्रिसमस सर सर आई आई स्ट्रांगली सपोर्ट the special resolutions for today's meeting and my wish wishes always our company and this prosperity god bless you sir thank you so much thank you madam so thank uh, you i think the next shareholder is prakashini ji shanai is is uh, the shareholder available yes yeah. hello yeah, yeah i'm yes. can i speak yeah definitely madam yeah. yeah i'm i'm prakashini ganesha shanai from bombay respected honorable chairman other dignitaries on the board and my fellow shareholders good morning to all of you i'm i'm thankful to the company secretary for sending me the uh, uh, this email in time and sir one more thing the company secretary didn't bother to phone us and tell us that we that we are in we, that we are the speakers and our speaker number is uh, so and so in other companies they uh, earlier to meeting they ask us they tell us phone us and tell madam please be prepared your number is so and so so i my uh, honest request is at least this time okay from next time it should be done sir So whatever whatever decision has been taken shall be taken by the management. I fully agree with it, and I have nothing more to pen. I wish the company. Uh, first of all, I want to wish in advance Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. I, I wish the company good luck in a bright future and pray God that the profit of the company shall reach the peak in due course. Sir, I wholeheartedly and strongly support all the resolutions put forth in today's meeting. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next is Mr. Anil Parekh. Is he available? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah please. Who? Oh? Hello, am I audible? Yeah, you are, sir. Please, what? Hello, am I audible? Yeah. Yes, yes, you are audible. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, Chairman Sir Kaila Samji. other board members and my fellow shareholders sir i am anil parekh here from bombay but as of now i am speaking from canada i am in canada and i am attending this meeting at midnight uh, 1 pm 1 am sorry uh, just to have a participation in the meeting i i am attending this meeting uh, i would like to extend my whole hearted support to you for passing this resolution but uh, i have few questions to ask you and uh, before asking any questions i would like to thank our uh, link in time people for assisting us uh, all kind of support to attend this meeting uh, my earlier speaker has said that you don't bother about shareholders i am uh, witnessing that since many years uh, never i ever i have been able to meet any company personnel in their offices or anything so kindly have a good courtesy to at least uh, those who are participating and uh, having uh, 
very good uh, <coughs> interest in the company anyway i am asking uh, questions uh, please uh, give me favorable reply uh, first of all uh, we are uh, offering preferential shares at uh, 33 rupees and also ccds at 33 rupees but uh, i am not able to understand that chairman as mr kailasam has announced that it would be on nes non cash consideration so kindly explain me uh, why it is non cash consideration and uh, secondly what is the uh, uh, this proceeds of this uh, 8 crores will go whether it would be going for administration cost or our uh, debts or uh, what kind of uh, you are looking at uh, utilizing this 8 crores rupees thirdly uh, what is the future am i uh, am i able to am i uh, audible properly am i able no, you are hello yes you are okay. you are go ahead okay and uh, thirdly uh, what is the way forward our future of the company and uh, do we have any uh, gold mines our own or any leased mine or uh, what kind of uh, uh, business model we have uh, that i would like to know anyway thank you for patient hearing and uh, kindly see to it uh, when i will be in bombay in february end i would like to meet our company personnel particularly subramaniam ji or uh, any other person thank you for patient hearing thank you sure so i think uh, these are the speaker who are registered so apart from uh, that i think uh, mr bhagwat has also sent in his uh, uh, regards and best wishes to the company and its management you know, after the deadline for the presentation as a speaker has expired so now we can say that uh, uh, i know request the managing director to you know listen to the brief uh, his response to the challenges <clears throat> uh good morning shareholders thank you very much for uh, attending this egm and also thanks for your uh, uh, support and uh, we'll uh, respond to the queries uh, i think initially with regard to the na- non cash consideration and uh, uh, e um, ccds etc probably subhu would explain uh, how the structuring is done and as far as the uh, future of the company the business model the business strategy i would like to speak once uh, subhu finishes thank you sir so basically to answer mr parekh's question so as he rightly said the, we are offering equity shares and ccds uh, for non cash considerations so this means that this uh, decam gold mines is now taking uh, a stake in uh, jio mysore services india private limited which has got a It granted and executed mining lease over its Jonagiri Gold project in the state of Andhra Pradesh. So basically, Deccan is purchasing the shares of Jio Mysore from its shareholders and issuing its own shares to the shareholders of those Jio of Jio Mysore at an agreed valuation and share swap ratio. So the valuation reports have already been made available to the shareholders on the website of the company. So it is on the basis of this valuation that the share prices have been arrived at as. 16.6.0 rupees 16 1606.09 for Jio Mysore and rupees 33.05 for Deccan Gold Mines. So for uh, the purpose of arriving at the price of Deccan Gold Mines, the valuation report has taken into account the SEBI formula, which is the 90 days or 10 days volume weighted average price, whichever is higher. So that has been taken into account. And for valuation of Jio Mysore, they have taken various aspects, including the projected cash flows under the income approach. So all these things are available in greater detail in the valuation report, which has been posted in our website under the investor relations section. So there is a separate uh, link called EGM 2022 documents. So shareholders can go through it. So uh, this has got a link to Mr. Parekh's second question also. So there is uh, so the usage of funds will not arise in this context because this uh, issue purchase and issue of shares is a share swap, and there is no cash out go or. Uh, The, from the from Deccan Gold Mines. So, as regards the future and the way forward, my uh, I know hand over to Mr. Anwar Prasad, our managing director. Thank you, Subhu. Thanks a lot. And uh, once again, uh, um, Anil ji, actually, I thank you very much. I mean, it's uh, midnight in Canada, and you um, 
I know the kind of support and uh, liking that you have for the company. And I thank you very much for attending this uh, EGM. Uh, as Subhu said, this is, uh, this is an effort to acquire significant stake in the gold mining project that's uh, held by GeoMySource Services. So this transaction would actually put uh, Tekken onto a stable platform. And I know that it is, uh, I think, the uh, ambition of most of the Deccan shareholders, or rather all the Deccan shareholders, is to be part of the gold producing project. Um, so this transaction would allow us to be part of it and uh, touch wood if everything goes well, which I'm sure will happen uh, by the end of 2023 or the first quarter of 2024, there will be a, a gold production coming out of Jonagari project in which Deccan will be a pride participant or a pride shareholder in that project. So, um, as you said, uh, and as you asked, the going forward, the future of the company is, uh, there are three different verticals that we are looking at. One is uh, producing gold assets like uh, in India, like GeoMysource, Janagari project, acquisition of the significant stake. I think this is a, a step closer to it and today's EGM if all the shareholders agree to this, I think we are very close to acquiring that stake. And also we are looking at few other projects overseas that will uh, we are negotiating with them, we are finalizing. These gold projects are also very close to the production. So, I mean, I think in the last AGM also I had mentioned that one of the projects is in Tanzania and one is in Finland. So the asset effort is to build number of uh, assets into the in Deccan gold mines. Apart from that, we also have built a separate uh, vertical that is a consultancy through which we have been taking the projects in India and as well as overseas. Already our teams are working at least in two other countries. So overall, uh, I see in the next one year, uh, we are going to uh, go uh, a step ahead and we will build a lot of value to the shareholders through the acquisition of these assets and also through the consultancy projects. I mean, I, I would like to say today's meeting is a very significant in terms of uh, Deccan gold mines and in its future because we are going to acquire a stake in a producing gold asset. And that too, that is the first gold mine in the last 70 years in India and we will be part of it eventually. So I, I think I am very happy to be part of this and uh, going forward. And, and I also would like to say this is the only beginning and there are a uh, number of assets that we are going to acquire um, hopefully in the next one year's time. And uh, the, uh, I, I think I, I can go on and on, but um, as a management, we definitely see there is a strong future for back and gold mines. I, uh, thank you very much. So thanks, sir. So now over to the chairman, Mr. Kailas. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Anuma, for your detailed explanation. Thank you, Subhu. Uh, please note that we are always happy to answer questions that you may still have, and we welcome you to email your queries to us, and we shall respond promptly as always. The board of directors have appointed Mr. Himam Shu Kamdar, Rathi Associates, Practicing Company Secretaries, Mumbai, as a scrutinizer for the e voting process. Further, I hereby authorize the company secretary to declare the results of the voting and place the results of the website of the company at the earliest. The resolutions as set forth in the notice shall be deemed to be passed today subject to receipt of the requisite number of votes. Further, the combined results of remote e-voting and electronic voting at the venue along with the scrutinizer's report shall be communicated to the Bombay Stock Exchange. The results shall also be placed on the website of the company and link in time. The result of the poll shall be displayed at least three days on the notice board of the company at its registered office and will be placed on the company's website. Also, the scrutinizer's reports will be placed on the website of the company www.deckandgoldmines.com and on service providers website www.linkintime.co.in within 48 hours from the conclusion of the EGM. May I request all shareholders who have not cast their vote, please vote as per the instructions given the notice of the meeting. All the items of today's EGM have now been transacted. With this, the EGM comes to an end. Thank you for attending the meeting. Thank you.